Dilly and the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you have seen the Tyson Fury interview, or very, very short interview, I should call it, with IFL TV after he watched his cousin Jose Burton get stopped against Dan Aziz last night on Sky Sports, where Tyson Fury was sat alongside boxer, Sky Sports promoter, Ben Shalom. Business talks going on? Who knows, right? Anyway, so um, Tyson Fury, he was asked about Dillian White. Are you going to fight Dillian White? What's next for you? Blah, blah, blah. Now, Tyson, he says that he hopes that he's going to fight Dillian White next. He would love to fight Dillian White next, but he doesn't know if, if he's going to because he doesn't know what's happening with the WBC, Dillian White, and the whole arbitration situation. Maybe that arbitration will go on for a long time like it did with um, himself and Wilder. Now, Fury said it took 18 months for that arbitration. No, it didn't. It took about six months. Okay, it's just that there was an 18-month period between them two fighting. The arbitration didn't start the moment them two walked out of the ring for the second fight. It was six months. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Now, he says that he'd like to fight Dillian White. He doesn't want to have to fight a voluntary, and he's due an easy fight anyway. Cool. So, is due an easy fight anyway? What, you mean compared to Safer Safari, Francesco Pianetta, Tom Schwartz, Otto Walland, and Deontay Wilder? That's five people that Tyson Fury has fought since he defeated Klitschko. Five people. Yes, he's defeated um, and fought Wilder three times, but that's still five people. Were they all top, top draw killers? Is that what they were? Were they all real hard, tough fights? Compared to Dillian White? Dillian White would lose to all these guys. So Tyson Fury is due an easy fight. Anyway, that's cool. Dillian White's an easy fight. I know some of his fans, his fanatical ones, of course, are saying how Dillian White is a bum. He's no good. Got knocked out by old man Povetkin. What do you think Tyson Fury would do to him? This is an easy night's work at the office. Yada, yada, yada. Cool. Tyson Fury agrees with you. That's fine. So if Tyson Fury fights Dillian White, and if he beats Dillian White, let's not give Tyson any credit. I mean, why do we need to give someone credit for an easy night at the office. Why do you need to give somebody credit for beating a bum? Yes? Listen, you can't have it both ways. You can't be saying how Dylan White is easy work and he's a bum and he's no good. He gets knocked out by old people and whatever else. Tyson Fury beats him. All hell, this is why Tyson Fury is the best of this era. Well, clearly not. He's beating a bum, remember? But if he struggles even a little bit against Dylan White, and heaven forbid if Dylan White beats Tyson Fury... If he catches him with that left hook and knocks him out, what then? Hey, Tyson, you just got beat by a bum, remember? But easy fight. You're due an easy fight. Yeah, okay. You're due an easy fight, no problem. But of course, some of his fans, his radical ones, they won't like, like any of that. They'll probably just go around and create more Instagram and Twitter and any other kind of uh, fake sport and icons accounts and all that kind of stuff, which of course is liable. But anyway, that is what it is. They're just going to start crying about it. Well, fact is, and this is a fact, by the way, why is he waiting for the WBC to order him to fight Dillian White? Why not just voluntarily fight him? Why not just say, I'm going to fight him anyway? Whatever the WBC said, I'm going to fight him anyway. I'm going to live up to my promise that I made two years ago. That when I get that WBC World Heavyweight title from Deontay Wilder, my very first defence will be against Dillian White. Dillian White has been through hell and back. He's been dicked around by the WBC. He's owed that WBC World Heavyweight title shot and I'm going to make sure that Dillian White gets it. I mean, I know the energy changed the moment that he got that belt. Okay, but still, let's see, see him live up to it. Let's see if he is really about the hard fights. He doesn't want a voluntary. Okay, so at Christmas just gone, almost a year ago now, he was looking to fight Ajit Kabiel or a Carlos Takam. You remember that? These are the kind of fights that Tyson Fury was looking to take. So if he doesn't fight Dillian White next, you know it's probably going to be Cabell next, right? <laughs> you know that much. Is that a harder fight than Dillian White? If you're a Fury fanatic, you'll say yes. But ultimately, Tyson Fury can just say, I'm going to fight you anyway. I don't care about his whole arbitration thing. Don't care about it. I'm going to fight him anyway. He's ranked in the top 15. He's your gym champion. I'm entitled to a voluntary. I voluntarily choose Dillian White. And if the WBC end up ordering it, then they order it anyway. What's the problem with that? I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, him saying all these kind of things is fine. You know, Dylan White is just a heavy bag on legs and he's 
um, an easy fight and all that kind of stuff, cool, he's an easy fight, then it shouldn't be a problem, considering that him fighting Dillian White, and again, let's be brutally honest here, whether you rate or like Dillian White or not, Tyson Fury versus Dillian White, Tyson Fury will earn more money from this fight than he did in any single fight with Deontay Wilder. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So why not pick up that easy money, right? Why not? He said he wants to be out end of February, early March latest. Well, there's Dillian White right there. What's the problem? You don't want easy fights? Cool. Been taking killer after killer. So first of Ferry, Francesco, Pianetta, Tom Schwartz, Otto Wallen and Deontay Wilder. Yeah, that one trick pony, Deontay Wilder, who Tyson Fury said from the very beginning, Wilder's resume is terrible. He's a one trick pony. He's no good. If I can't be a Deontay Wilder, I need to retire. So again, should we really be giving Tyson Fury credit for the Wilder win? Or is all this just parlor tricks? Is this just fight hype build up? Hopefully that's what it is. I hope that's what it is for me i want to see this fight you all want to see that fight anybody who says you don't want to see that fight i think there's an agenda going on i don't know i really don't know anyway tyson fury statement drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe catch you on the next video